Hi there, name's Fred. Today, we're gonna talk about the basic rights and freedoms of every human being. In short, we're gonna talk about human rights. You are watching My Karapatan Ka. human rights. Human rights are rights inherent to all human beings, regardless of race, sex, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, or any other status. Human rights include the right to life and liberty, freedom from slavery and torture, freedom of opinion and expression, the right to work and education, and many more. Everyone is entitled to these rights without discrimination. Human rights can be characterized as fundamentals, which means they are the factors that give meaning to one's dignity and even life itself. In short, without them, life would be unfair and meaningless. But what would happen if human rights didn't exist at all? The world would be some dystopian society, where crimes such as rape, torture, slavery, and abuse would be much more rampant mostly due to discrimination between different races. We also wouldn't be as scientifically or technologically advanced today because education systems wouldn't be as widely practiced to be provided by the government if it weren't obligated to the people's rights. Cases of injustice would be highly present as the poor wouldn't be able to defend themselves for they won't be given equal treatment or a defender. Basically, the world would be in a total chaos because of the consequences we would have if human rights would cease to exist. Life itself would be meaningless. And the world would be full of inequality. People will suffer from those who abuse their power and superiority. Now, we will be discussing about Article 4 of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that no one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. But first of all, what is slavery and servitude? Slavery is the act of which an individual is owned by another individual, where the owner controls where they live and what they work for. In other words, an individual forces another to perform an activity where it is not their will. The person is forced and given no option or freedom but to obey. To be considered as a slave is to be owned by another person. A slave is a human claimed and owned by another set of individuals who forces them to work for them and can also be called as an enslaved person. Slavery has been a common practice among many societies. It has existed throughout history in many times and in many places, but has changed over time. Slavery as of today are commonly referred to as human trafficking or slave trading and is run by different private traders. Governments used to be heavily involved in slavery back in the years. Many elements of slavery have stayed constant throughout the years as well. Slaves can be any gender, any age, above four ages and above. They are usually poor and vulnerable usually prisoners of war that have been captured or kidnapped, working for 20 hours a day without any payment, benefits, or even minimum conditions. It's quite confusing to contrast slavery from servitude since they both have almost the same definitions, but it's possible for one to differ the two. In order to do that, it's simply the way they make use of slaves. For example, servitude is also known as indentured servitude, 
which means it's the state of being a slave or being subject to a very powerful person within a system of unfree labor, forced and bound by a contract or a forced contract to work for a particular person for a fixed time. While slavery is more of a work for someone without any consent and freedom to decline. And that concludes our topic about human rights. Moving on, we will tackle the current state of slavery under the Philippine context, along with brief information about its history and where it originated from. Slavery was already widespread in the Philippine Islands even before the archipelago was integrated into the Spanish Empire. But as the Spaniards conquered the archipelago, the laws of the Indies served as compilation of royal decrees for the Spanish colonies including the Philippines. This included a law that stating that Spaniards were forbidden to hold Filipinos as slaves since they were under the subjection of King Philip II. The law was sometimes ignored by soldiers, even some acting on their own and seizing natives in various parts of the country, but were later on punished and gave freedom to the slaves. According to the 2018 edition of the Global Slavery Index, around 40.3 million people are said to be victims of modern slavery around the world in 2016, wherein 60% of them are found in 10 countries, including the Philippines. Modern slavery refers to situations of exploitation that include human trafficking, forced labor, debt bondage, forced or servile marriage, and sale or exploitation of children, among other things. It's hard to believe that the Philippines is ranked 30th overall out of 167 countries having the ratio of 7.70 per 1,000 people and is considered to be highly vulnerable to modern slavery with an average score of 60.24, above the global and Asian Pacific averages of 45.6 and 46.1 respectively. Most of the victims of modern slavery in the Philippines are children and women. This is because of how empowered and superior rich people are. Sex trafficking, overworking maids and co-workers, and forced laborers are some of the most common types of slavery today. Due to poverty, people are forced to work as slaves for others just to sustain themselves and their families. Some even sell their bodies for money while some are captured or kidnapped to be used in drug trafficking. In other cases, Filipino women are often subject to forced labor, have no access to their passport, limited rights, and experience sexual and even physical abuse by their employers. Children are also exposed to the abuse of human rights. Take the Battle of Marawi, for example. Children were used as insurgents and informants for ISIS and even to partake in fights and battles in warfare. The Trafficking Victims Protection Act aims to prevent slavery from occurring, protect current slaves, and persecute traffickers. In addition, when slaves are safe, they are provided with immediate food, housing, medical, legal and mental assistance, living money, and legal status. Now, in order for us to prevent or even fully put a stop to slavery, we must dramatically take measures for the well-being of every person. Here are our suggestions. First of all, we must encourage others to take actions about this matter, raising awareness for other people to be acknowledgeable of our rights and how people abuse it is something that we should be taking into consideration for everyone. Second. We should learn how to fight for our rights. We must not let others violate our rights as a person, for it is what makes us human and gives purpose to our lives. We must protect it from all kinds of abuse and manipulation in order to everyone to have equality. And the last one would be obeying these human rights. We must be sensitive about other people and their rights as a person in order for us to attain peace and understanding among each other.